Welcome back, it's Nan, and today I have another big video for you guys. We are going to be talking about The Last of Us 2, Factions Multiplayer, and how we've gotten an update about that. We're going to discuss Housemark's new game in development, and we're going to be talking about Xbox's official post about Bethesda joining their team and what their plans are going into the future. Now let's get started with this The Last of Us 2 update and this comes from GameSpot and it's titled Last of Us Dev is hiring an economy designer for a multiplayer game with live service elements. So The Last of Us developer Naughty Dog is hiring an economy designer to help the team with a multiplayer game that includes live operations and player progression. The job ad states that the successful candidate will help Naughty Dog create avenues for self-expression for our players, ensure robust longevity to our games, and give our players great rewards to strive for. So it sounds a lot like this is going to be the multiplayer portion of uh, the Last of Us 2. So Naughty Dog has confirmed more than a year ago that it's working on a standalone Last of Us multiplayer game. So this all fits in line with that. So the successful candidate will be responsible for designing, implementing, and tuning the in-game economy and player progression systems, which sounds like a Battle Pass style feature that we've seen other games implement, which it, it works, let's be honest. It works for Fortnite, for COD, for many other games like Fall Guys and everything else. So I don't see why they wouldn't implement it here. It would give a lot of life to the game and it would certainly make people want to continue to support that multiplayer game. So this person will also work alongside game designers to make sure the in-game economy system synergizes well with the game as a whole. So as I said, this all connects together. If it indeed is for The Last of Us Factions, then it's going to be making it a robust experience. Considering it's going to be a standalone title, it makes sense for them to put this much effort forward. And I'm actually quite excited for this. I never got a chance to dive into The Last of Us uh, Factions multiplayer for the original. And so this will be a nice opportunity for me to jump in and see uh, what it's all about and, and kind of get into that. And hopefully I do enjoy it and I play it for years to come. I have a friend that is very passionate about this game and I know he's super excited for factions and I'm sure uh, a lot of you out there are as well who are huge fans of The Last of Us. Uh, now on to our next topic and this is all about Housemark and we know they got Returnal coming out this year. I believe it's coming out end of April if I'm not mistaken. And uh, they've put up a job post Posting and, and they tweeted out saying, we're looking for a lead producer to work on a new project. And the official post says Housemark is looking for a lead producer for a new game project and Housemark is looking for an experienced candidate for a new key role. So it sounds like they're going to be working on something brand new. Uh, I doubt that we're looking at a Returnal 2 type of game just because they don't even know how well this game is going to do. I mean, sure, you got pre-order numbers and all that, but it's still too early to tell if you really do want to go in that direction to create another game. So I think they're probably looking at a completely new project. And even within this post, it says a team of up to 100 people. So we're looking at uh, something on a, a little bit larger scale as well. I mean, we're not looking at like AAA experience, but 100 people is not anything to scoff at. Like that's that's quite a team there. So very curious where this is going to go. Is this going to be a PS5 title? Is Sony going to acquire these guys so they can make an exclusive for them? Or is this going to be another one of those second party deals where uh, they create an IP for Sony, Sony keeps it, but they pay for the project and fund everything. And Housemark continues to be a third party developer. We'll see what happens. Very curious what they're going to do next. I know Returnal is their most ambitious project. Really looking forward to this game because it looks good. It looks like fun. Uh, but that price tag, I think, is what's stopping a lot of people from jumping in. And I hope that's not what holds this game back. Because if it is a quality game, it's going to be a shame if that price tag stops people from jumping in. Uh, mind you, hey, I've played a lot of games that, uh, you know, aren't on a huge, massive scale, paid full price for them, and I've loved them. So it's not impossible for this game to be better than most games at that price tag. I mean, price is all dependent on the person, right? You you see the value within a game yourself. So we'll see what happens with Housemark. Very curious where they're going to go with that next. Now on to the last topic, and this is all about Xbox, guys, and it's it's pretty interesting. I mean, still... A lot of questions up in the air, but overall, I feel like uh, this is an exciting moment for Xbox and Xbox gamers. So this is titled, Officially Welcoming Bethesda to Team Xbox, and this is written by Phil Spencer, 
and this comes straight from xbox.com so there's no ifs ands about, about this this is 100 percent coming from as they would say the horse's mouth so i just highlighted some important notes this is a very long article i'm not going to read the whole thing to you guys it says today we officially complete the acquisition of zenimax media parent company of bethesda softworks it's an honor to welcome the eight incredibly talented development studios he goes on to say this is the next step in building an industry leading first party studios team a commitment we have to our xbox community with the addition of bethesda creative teams gamers should know that xbox consoles pc and game pass will be the best place to experience new Bethesda games including some new titles in the future that will be exclusive to Xbox and PC players so that's an interesting point right there and I think this is a lot of what people are wondering about are these games going to be exclusive to the Xbox PC platform what's happening in regards to this so what I've noticed from the uh, you know Twitter and and comments and wherever it may be uh the internet seems to still be confused about this some people believe this to be uh, a comment about you know the current deals that they have and that's what they mean by uh some games will be everywhere but there will be exclusive titles the xbox and pc players and people are unsure does that mean you know games going forward outside of these deals does that mean some games it's hard to say my interpretation of it truthfully is that I think those massive, massive games that have a reputation already on multiple platforms are going to still be on multiple platforms. It's not going to be Xbox, PC. That's my that's my interpretation. Obviously, uh, it depends. I really feel like they need to be clear about this. I feel like there's still a lot of questions, you know, up in the air about what they plan to do. But from my understanding, yes, the commitments they've already made are still in place and they are going to be in place obviously they're contractually obligated as far as i know uh, but also i feel like with elder scrolls 6 with fallout whatever the next one's going to be these games i believe are going to be multi-platform uh, now maybe they do timed exclusives that could be something that they do but I do see those being multi-platform. I think games like Starfield probably already, if they're very close to being released, already have the foundation built and you know are ready to launch these games everywhere. I think Starfield's going to be multi-platform because it's been in development too long, right? At this point, uh, it may as well launch on, on everything. But I do think going forward with any games that probably are new IP or whatever it may be, are going to be exclusive to the PC and the Xbox. But again, I just don't see Elder Scrolls and um, Fallout being exclusive. They're too big. You know, they're too big on every platform. Everybody's going to want them. And it's opportunities in a lot of ways that would be lost. But then again, they could do that. They could say, hey, these are going to be exclusive to Xbox and PC. If you want it, you're going to have to get Game Pass Ultimate and you're going to play it through xCloud or you're going to play it on these platforms. And it, like I said, it, it doesn't matter. Like for me personally, if I had to play these games on my PC or play them through xCloud or go buy a Series X, if I really want the game, I'm going to play it. That's just how it's going to go. For me personally, I feel like they need to make some exclusives, man. You guys cannot be putting all your games on every single platform. It's crazy to me that that's even a, a consideration because you know what? Like I know a lot of people who would sign up for Game Pass through xCloud just to play specific titles if they're not all invested in the Xbox ecosystem. So this would be a great opportunity for them to to pull in those uh, those users. But I guess at the end of the day, it's still up in the air. We don't know a definitive answer just yet. I'm hoping by the end of this year that we do know something like, is Starfield going to be exclusive? Is, you know, Elder Scrolls 6 going to be like, what's going to happen? Like at the end of the day, we don't really have any answers here. It's quite vague still. And I that's kind of frustrating, I want to say, because, you know, you, you see all these people going at it back and forth in the comments on Twitter, wherever it may be about the exclusivity that's that's is it going to happen is it not going to happen and i feel like this didn't really help it this kind of just leaves more questions unanswered i mean he said before it'd be on a case-by-case -case basis and this is just saying that some games will be uh, xbox and pc exclusive but i guess we'll see what happens but that's all i have for you guys in today's video love to pass on to you guys and ask you how do you feel about this naughty dog job posting for economy designer for a multiplayer game with live service elements do you think that this is likely going to be factions let me know in the comments. What do you think Housemark is working on? Will it be a PS5 exclusive? And lastly, what do you make of this whole Bethesda uh, game situation? Is it going to be just the current deals that they've made? 
or are we looking at you know games like Elder Scrolls and Fallout continuing to be multi-platform while the new IPs or I guess specific titles that they decide to just be Xbox and PC exclusive. Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos and hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links will be in the description and share this video with a friend. I'll talk to you all on the next one. Take care.